Hey there, YouTube. It is Gary Creeley with Creeley Blades, and I want to talk to you guys today about a cool tool that I got. You know, there's this term that people use these days called game changer. Everything's a game changer. Rare, rarely are things actually game changers. Let's be honest. Very few things are actually game changers. Of course, I think this thing is kind of a game changer in, in reality. Why is it a game changer? because it is a laser cutter that fits will fit in most guys shop. This is the X tool metal fab. Now, a couple things about the metal fab I want to talk to you about, especially as a knife maker, the metal fab does a bunch of things. And a lot of the videos revolve around a lot of the different things that the metal fab can do for you, but cutting out blade blanks, like for instance, this, this is a Mako. No, this is a minnow. I lied. This is a minnow that I cut out with that laser. Now I did clean up the kerf so it looks better than uh, it looks better than it would <laughs> coming right off the laser. But those holes, this whole thing is cut out. This is what a finished one looks like. You know, after it gets ground and finished and whatnot. So I am super excited about this thing, and I want to introduce it to you, and I want to go over what it does and what you probably want it for. So it basically does three things. Uh, it cuts this, there's, there's two pieces to it here, and I'll put a picture up. That thing that you're looking at now is the actual welder. This thing here is the CNC cabinet. And you can see in here uh, the head, and this is the actual laser cutter. You can pull that out, and it's like literally a laser gun. Um, I shot things with it. It was kind of fun. But anyway, uh, the main thing is the CNC cutter for knife makers. Now, there are some other use, uses that I, I'll talk about. So the CNC cutter, you can cut freehand with it. With that gun, you can pull it out, which I have used because CPM sheets of steel come about a half inch wider than fits in this. And uh, I'll show you that. I'll show you some of that also. It cleans... Uh, it cleans steel, like has a cleaning function, and it welds. And you can weld different metals. You can weld aluminum. You can weld stainless. You can weld carbon steel. My contention is all those things are cool. But if you needed to cut a, a slice off of uh, a, a sheet of steel, you could do that with an angle grinder. You can even do that with like a, a evolution circular saw. There's ways you could do that. If you wanted to weld two pieces of metal together, there are other ways you can do that. You could, you could go to tractor supply and buy a TIG welder and weld most of the things that this can weld. So these other functions I'm not super excited about. Maybe some folks are, but to me, especially the cleaning is, is you know, there might be a special use case for it, but that's not really what I'm after. What is really exciting to me is you used to have to spend a quarter million, half million dollars to get a laser that can cut steel accurately. This thing can cut steel, and this is like 16,000 with the welder and the cutter, and then maybe another two grand for the air compressor, and we'll talk about that a little bit more first. First, let me show you the process of cutting with it. We're gonna cut a piece of steel. Uh, I'm gonna show you the software and uh, show you the product. We'll go through the whole thing here today. So buckle in. First things first here, guys. Uh, this device is able to accommodate 24 inch by 24 inch pieces of steel, okay? So it's pretty easy if it's too long, but you really gotta cut it down to a minimum of 24 inches. Uh, now, Niagara comes just a little bigger than 24 inches, but a lot of steels come in 14, 15, 16 inch widths. A lot of your Boldera stuff, a lot of your ABL and these sorts of things. So this here, oh, geez, this here is a bar that I bought from a guy at a knife show, old time knife maker, kind of a loveless contemporary, literally. Um, he makes really good loveless style knives. This is a bar of BG42. I don't know if any of you remember BG42. Maybe you don't even know what BG42 is. BG42 is a steel made by Latrobe. It would be roughly like CM 154, 154 CM. Uh, so I think it's a little nicer than 154 CM. And this was by Latrobe. This was a really desirable steel 
for knives like like loveless style hunting knives it's a nice stainless steel underrated steel that's a different video but as you can see on or you can't see this bar of steel is too big fit in that machine uh you know i can't see to get you a little better view there yeah see that's that's too big to fit in the machine so what are we going to do i'm going to show you so there are slots on either side of this machine uh and so i'm just gonna bring this on in here i'm going to bring it to about there uh, another nice feature of this machine is that it's got these uh uh, holders. A, a lot of ladies don't have this. It has these holders here. Now, that piece of it's a little bit springy. Uh, so another thing I can do, see if you have the whole, yeah, you have the whole view. I'm just going to pull it through here. I'm going to stick it into the other one and clamp it down on both sides, which will make it a lot less springy. Although, I may not want to do that. I'll tell you one minute so now my bar of steel is in here and now i'm going to turn you to the software we're going to take a look at the software and uh get ready to cut this bar of steel close this uh this whole cabinet it has a big old exhaust fan in the back uh, from your angle you can't see it but it's like that big and there's a tube and it's going out outside i it's not great to breathe vaporized steel dust you probably already knew that um, so here we go. It's got lights, camera, and action, but it does have camera. In fact, it has two cameras and, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some of that. It does create dust. That's for sure. I, well, sometimes it's hard to tell what dust is from this and what dust is from the rest of the shop, but dust nonetheless. All right. We're going to close this up. It has this protective glass. I haven't taken the plastic off. I'm not usually one of those guys like there's a little coat of plastic on here, but I figure I get as many scratches on that plastic before I pull it off and start scratching the actual plexiglass. The cool thing about this plexiglass is um, it's safe to look at. So it's filtering out the bad laser stuff that can ruin your eyes and just the welding and all that that's going on in there. It's not welding, but it's sparking metal. You'll see in a moment. All right. We're going to go to the software. All right, I'm going to show you a little bit about the software. So I have my bar in there. I uh, just put, this is a minnow. This is a pretty small knife. That's a pretty small bar. So um, now this is a minnow. This middle part here indicates the steel type. So these are grouped currently. I'm going to ungroup them. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this middle piece and I'm going to delete it because that's not magna cut. And what I'm going to do is, uh, it's BG42, so what I figure I'll do is I'm just going to put a B here. We're just going to make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, we don't want it too big. Move that right in there. Just so I know what steel it is. I, you know, I, so there's one, and I'm, I'm just going to show you the efficiency you can get, right? So there's one of them. We're going to group these together again. Select it. Right click, group. Now these are all one. I'm going to copy, paste. Now I have a second copy of this. We're going to flip this around. Wow. So even in a bar of steel, you know, you can just get some more mileage out of it, even with a small knife like this. See, I'm going to run these pretty close together. All right, so let's just zoom out a little here. Uh, the hatchet's just there to hold the steel down. All right, so I have two knives on my thing. We could do another close-up over here, just make sure we're not running off on that back corner. Doesn't hurt to double check. So we're gonna take another close shot. And that's gonna move our close shot over that way. Boom. Now let's zoom in a smidge. Look at that. So in the close shot, we see we're not quite okay. All right, here, and I'm gonna get you guys a view of the cutting the best I can here. 
Okay, now you have a good view of the um, inside of it. I already did the calibration. Basically, the laser head just comes down and uh, touches the steel so it knows where it is. Now we're going to process. That button will go blue and it will beep at us when it's ready to process. Uh, it's going to, it says it might collide with the material. Okay. So now it's ready and we're going to process it. Here it goes. All right, 38 seconds. You might hear the uh, compressor in the background, which we'll talk about in a second. But 38 seconds to process two blades. Granted, these are small blades, but uh, they're a little hot. Now, I may drop this, and if I do, it'll be just fine. And then we'll break this one out. And that's just fine, too. There's a tray under there where you can just grab them. I'm going to... All right. Not bad. That's the draw side. That's the not draw side. The B, of course, the center part didn't, <laughs> didn't stay in there, but I will know that's BG42. That's for sure. I'm going to clean these up and get right back with you. So here are the two bars that I cut. Uh, not bars, but here are the two blades that I cut out. This is the little minnow. You can see it here. You know, there's the laser curve, pretty typical of laser curve. You know, cut my little B out of there. Um, so, yeah, and these two, granted, they're small knives, but uh, they took 38 seconds to cut out. This is every bit as accurate as any big laser I've ever used, and now I'm doing it in-house. Um, just to give you a sense, so the machine... Uh, the CNC and the welder together are about $16,000. Uh, and then there is, and I'm going to bring you over here. Come with me. This arrangement down here, I want to show you. All right, this is, don't mind this bar in the way. This is the air pump. It's a V4 air pump. This thing actually puts out, uh, four, I believe it's 14 CFM which is like what a big machine would put out, like a big, tall one. And back here is a refrigerated air dryer. This get up here is around two grand. It's like 1,700 plus tax, whatever. It's around 1,700. But that makes it so you don't have to use nitrogen. Um, now, if, if you want to just save the two grand and use nitrogen, you can do that, but then you're going to have a nitrogen bill. The nitrogen is not super expensive. By the time you buy the tank, so on and so forth, this is definitely worth... This does fine for cutting stainless. Uh, I've cut up to around four millimeter. It says it can cut up to, up to, uh, says it can cut up to six, I believe. But this is a really cool machine and it is truly a game changer in terms of, I use the term again, in terms of cutting your own steel. Uh, it used to be, these machines were so out of reach, both in terms of size I mean, honestly, a regular laser cutter, like at a big shop, like at a fab shop, the refrigeration unit would be this size. So you're getting the whole cutter here uh, in this footprint, uh, which is not bad. All right. I want to get a tape measure and just measure. So we're, we're real quick, rough. You're roughly four feet wide. You're roughly just a little, right around four feet tall. And a little less than four feet. You're around 40, 40, 41 inches. So uh, the depth is a little less than four feet, but basically a four foot cube minus the, the depth is a little less than four feet. So it can fit in most places. That compressor is not big. Power draw wise, um, they call for 30 amps of 220 to run this, and that's 
the welder and the compressor uh, and the CNC. Uh, the, the C, the, this is actually 110. The compressor is 220. The welder is 220. But I'm only running on 20 amps and I haven't blown the circuit yet. Um, but you should, you should run it on 30 amps. I just don't have 30 amps right here right now. It is a really cool unit. And uh, it's, it's awesome. You can reach out to me if you have questions. and Just do it in the comments. Uh, yeah, the comments would be the best way to, to reach out. And I'll try to keep up with those. And there is a sponsored link uh, in here. It's not a sponsored video. So everything I've told you is just my own opinion. I'd have said it with, with or without the link. But if uh, you follow the link and end up purchasing one of these, I'll get a little bit of a commission, which will help me pay for this. Uh, then you can do a video and somebody will buy it and help you pay for it. Uh, obvious, uh, honestly, I just cut out three or 400 blades with it. So, I mean, I've already paid back a, a thousand or two just in, in the work that I've done with it thus far. This is really pretty awesome. And a lot of the ways thus far that I have seen X tool promoting it is as like this welding tool, but it's really a niche welding tool. I mean, guys are good with TIG welders and MIG welders. They put so many years of work in with that. For that crowd, I just don't, I don't know how useful it is in that. But this, this is something super useful. Uh, just cutting out parts, just general parts, metal fabrication parts when you can have a thing in your shop. And this thing is accurate, and the metal kerf is so thin. I want to show you something. What I have in my hand here is uh, I put an offset. Let's see how it goes that way. <laughs> I put an offset on one of my knives. It has an offset tool on a minnow. But I forgot to erase the original, and it actually cut a band out around the knife. That's how small the kerf is. So you don't lose, you don't lose a whole lot. You can put them pretty close together and you can put them pretty close to the edge and the laser is not taking. I, I think it's thinner than a typical laser shop in terms of the diameter of the laser. There's probably a spec somewhere. I, I haven't seen it. But what I do know is I'm very impressed with the accuracy of it. I'm able to cut my holes exactly the size I want them and I don't have to drill them and I don't have to ream them. Really cool tool. If you like it or this video was helpful, go ahead and check out Xtool's site. And uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And I'll, I'll, I'll answer them the best I can. But uh, yeah, for those of you who you know want to do a, a little more uh, and want to bring this work into your shop, I, I'm still kind of surprised at what this tool can do at the price that it is. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. And uh, hopefully it's reliable. So far, so good. Uh, the software is pretty intuitive. Uh, if you know anything about CAD, it won't be hard for you uh, at all. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope this is helpful. I haven't seen any knife makers yet uh, talk about this thing. Oh, I've heard them talk about it, but I haven't seen a video on it yet. So here's, here's your first video. And I'll, I'll probably, I might make a few more. Thanks for tuning in.